Swiss luxury group Richemont owns several of the world's leading jewelry watches and writing instrument brands, including Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpels, IWC, Panerai and Mont Blanc. It is controlled by the Rupert family and has made great progress in sales in China. It has a market cap of 261 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 17.2 and a dividend yield of 1.13%. Richemont is a story that you can't argue with, especially if we jump straight to what's happening on the share price graph. Obviously, we go to the diamond story in a moment, mm. but Paul, it's very difficult to be negative about the Richemont story. Yes, uh, I think that's true. Look, they have been around many years, and Johan Rupert uh, has basically added to the group incrementally over the years. It only became available as a standalone investment in October 2008. Prior to that, it was part of the larger Richmond, British America tobacco nexus and a lot of people ourselves included avoided it because we didn't like the cigarette exposure since then it came out and had its debut in the worst financial crisis in memory so a lot of people thought oh my goodness luxury goods China all falling apart can't go there but it's been a spectacular investment success in recent years Anthony, can you add your sentiments to this uh, sterling performer? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a, it's definitely been a performer. Uh, at Capricorn, we, we like to trade themes, and the, 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 the theme that uh, Richemont captures perfectly, uh, as Paul mentioned earlier, is, uh, is the, the shift in consumer behaviors. Uh, emerging millionaires, uh, you know, want to own Cartier watches. They, they want to buy uh, Van Cleef and Arpels necklaces for their girlfriends and wives. So. Um, also, you, you can't discount um, the custom of uh, gifting in, in Asia when doing business there. Um, it's definitely a, uh, an underpin uh, for the strong demand. Uh, we, we like the stock. Right, Paul, so what could be a negative detractor from the Richemont story? Yeah, we know it's defensive, so it holds up irrespective of the economic environment out there. Yeah, and in recent weeks it fell from 50, as you can see there, back down to about 41 and 42. And it was because people were again rallied up again. seeing negatives around China and people have been talking a lot about how China's having a soft landing or a hard landing or, you know, earnings uh, growth is going to come down because GDP is falling from like 9, 10% per annum year on year down to around 7. But... Um, what you must understand about Richmond is positioned to service Chinese customers, not just at home in China with new stores in Shanghai and Beijing, but also in Hong Kong and in Taiwan, and then more specifically in duty-free zones. Apparently, if you go to Europe, it's all Chinese people in the stores buying these things. So it's a major kind of growth trend. I think you do have to be a little bit cautious because there is, after all, a correct share price for everything. And it's not inconceivable that they could put a few foot, foot feet wrong and in the rollout of the business. Is it frothy at current levels? Um, we don't think so. We think uh, the stock is well priced. Um, but yes, there, there, there are definitely some risks. Um, it is a stock that can quickly attract negative sentiment despite its, its solid fundamentals. And what we saw in the last downturn was that many of their retail partners actually started discounting uh, uh, the, the, the wares, uh, which obviously devalues a brand uh, like a Cartier. Uh, oh, Van Cleef and Arpels yes, yes, yes. So they're so hugely discounted when yeah. you come back to that economic downturn. So they made, they made the firm decision to actually uh, own more of their own retail outlets, protect the brand. They let some of their weaker partners go. Um, and I think that's a very sound strategy because it's also helped them grow margins. But its fortunes are ultimately going to be attached, as you alluded to earlier, to the China story. Yes. And look, they do have issues around currency because they produce a lot of stuff in Switzerland, which is an important part, again, of protecting the brand. People don't want to know that, you know, this has been manufactured in China. So they benefit to some extent from the Swiss franc rate relative to the euro in which they report their results but then also in relation to all the other currencies where they actually sell stuff. But that move from 40 back up to 50 where it trades this afternoon. Was mostly you. No, no, it was in fact a trading update which took a lot of people by surprise. So a lot of the China bears out there in global markets were saying, oh, let's go short you know, LVMH and let's go short Richmond because that's a nice China proxy. So if we're negative on China and they got totally sideswiped because the earnings are going to be for the half year roughly you know, 13% in constant currency or as much as 40% up in the reporting euros. So bottom line, don't bet, don't bet against Richemont. Uh, no, it's got a, it's got a big uh, cash pile. 
Um, I think uh, part of that is uh, if there is another lean time that can protect the brand, um, I wouldn't bet against it. Another thing I like about them is they're constantly acquiring new brands. So they'll go and pick up a watchmaker. They revolutionize the production and the selling and up the marketing and they get you know, some uh, action going there. Plus, remember, they bought that thing called Net Apporteur, which is a web-based luxury goods seller, which I think is an exciting niche to be in as well because a lot of people know what they like and know what they want to reorder and they like doing it online. There Another appears to be element. no end to this positive story <laughs> for to run hot or not on Richemont. Yep, hot core stock for us and we're happy to buy them here. Anthony? Definitely hot. I think uh, Cartier is a high water mark uh, in luxury and it's 70% of their sales and uh, brands like that are very defensive.